brothers and sisters, children of the Rallas, the day we have all been waiting for is here. The world is on the brink. It always has been, but never before have the signs been more clear. An illness which the Order calls the Red Madness devours people's minds. Wars plague the land, and frenzied animals tear apart cattle and farmers alike. And even here, on supposedly the most peaceful continent of all, there's chaos. The invaders call themselves the free people and claim to bring our world peace. But all they bring is suffering and death, as all sleepers do. You, my lambs, know my teachings. You know the Ralas, and you've devoted your souls to it, because you realize it is the key to freedom. An end to the suffering which all those people who choose to live their lives in their fleshly vessels consider their inevitable fate. And they are right. Their suffering is inevitable because they refuse to see the truth. A bird in a cage can never fly, no matter how hard it beats its wings. Only breaking the cage can set it free. And tonight, brothers and sisters, we will break it. We call it transcendence, the ultimate detachment from our flesh, the last step on a long path that we have walked together. Beneath our feet, in the depths of this eon's old temple, lies the secret, the room of paintings that is key to transcendence. The temple that holds it, however, is as dangerous as it is powerful. And that is why today there are sleepers among us. Accompanied by one of us, their task will be to clear the way. Once the deed has been done, I will take you into the depths of this ruin, where side by side we will leave our vessels behind us once and for all. You two, what are your names? Stalron. Ewa. Good. Sister Addiction, you will accompany Ewa and Stalron. Brother Greed will give you the runes to open the portal. Simply place it in front of the gate to the room of paintings, and I will do the rest. Yes, Father. How will we recognize the room? You will know it when you find it. You two, what are your names? Taiwan. Taiwan del Sharif. Uh, Rugen. Good. You'll go with Brother Hatred. What about you? Zara. You will go with Brother Wrath and his companion. And you, you will go with Sister Lust. Understood. When do we set out? As soon as you have finished your preparations. Sister Addiction, Brother Hatred, you and your groups will go in first. Sister Lust, you will form the second group, together with Brother Wrath. You will descend half an hour after the first group. As the First Seer has already told you, whatever the Temple provides in treasure and loot is yours to keep. You will receive the second half of your payment once the mission has been completed. Are there any questions? Yes. What in blazes are you? You're not human. I can feel it. Watch your mouth. At ease, brother. I am the father. That is all you need to know. <sighs> Lunatics. Whew. Guy sure knows how to make an entrance, that's for sure. Psionics, are you ready? As ready as I can be in this bloody cold. Uh, you're Brother Wrath, aren't you? Nice name. Very... reassuring. You may call me Thariel if it makes you feel better. Good to work with you again. I hope you'll stick to the rules as well as you did before. You know each other? Yes. This man did a great service for the Relata. Without him, this mission wouldn't be possible. Good to know. Anyway, anything else that needs discussing, 
As far as I'm concerned, our objectives are pretty clear. Enter the temple, find the room, and open a portal. Right? Yes. Good. Then I'll go warm up a little until it's our turn to go down. See you then. Here's to a good run. Hmm. Brother Wrath, it's your turn. Yes. Mercenary, we're leaving. As you command. Lead the way. First mission had to take me into this bloody ice desert. I'm already missing Kyra. <laughs> I bet. Where's your better half, though? That... what was his name? Quiet. Alright, alright. Four entrances for four groups. Hmm. As if the father knew. Hold it. Hmm. A message from Brother Hatred. What's it say? They took the western and the eastern entrances. In other words, we'll take the north and south. Shouldn't we stay together? It's the will of the temple. Also, if one of our groups runs into a trap, the others can still finish the job. Brother Rath, you take the southern entrance. Agreed. Then go. From ashes to blood, from blood to liberation. Good luck. From ashes to blood, from blood to liberation. From ashes to blood, from blood to liberation. Shut up. planning on it.
kill it. What if it wasn't an illusion? What if this temple... Uh, I don't know... Teleported him inside somehow? Him? Yes? I understand. We're seeing different things. What about you? What did you see? Makes sense. Uh, by the Seven. This is sick. You knew what you were in for. Thanks. That barrier over there. Let's take a closer look. Well, at least we now know it's not just illusions we're up against. One moment. What's that? Glyphs. These carvings in the archway mean something... Yeah, that's the language of the Black Libra. The father gave us a kind of uh, translation key. That's it. This door should lead us right to the room of paintings. <laughs> Just when I thought this would be tricky. Let me see if I could banish the barrier somehow. Can you translate them? Let me see. Hmm. The... Damn it. This is too complicated. Really? Let me take a look. No! This isn't meant for the eyes of a sleeper. <sighs> all right, all right. So what do we do then? We'll keep exploring. Come on.
That... That was Brother Hatred. Yes. I'll go take a look. Stay put. Shouldn't we... stay together? Can't you just for once follow a simple order? Whoa, whoa! Calm down, will you? Go if your life depends on it. I won't be long. Bloody prick. Really? Then what is he doing with these lunatics? <sighs> and here I had almost forgotten how little I miss this bloody country. Eleven years, yeah. Mostly in Kyra. Though, things got a little heated over there even for me recently. You know, civil war and so on. <laughs> so I thought... Well, Zara, time to head home, and I jumped on the next ship. And now here I am, in an ancient temple that pits me against illusions and exploding meat puppets. Exciting, yeah, but just a bit too disturbing. Back there, in the hall, what did you see? Or is that too personal? I see. You know, I saw someone who used to be very important to me. Someone who I trusted, even though I should have known better. I really thought I was over it by now. Thirteen years, for fuck's sake. Thirteen years. But seeing back there, even though it was just an illusion, it brought it all back. But, well... I guess that's life, isn't it? <laughs> it's only on your deathbed as you lie there shitting in your sheets that the past lets go of you once and for all. Kind of pathetic, isn't it? <laughs> no. Uh, what? has been offered. That stone tablet in the room that we were in before. I was able to read it. It said that passing through the gate that leads to the room of paintings requires a blood tribute to be paid. That's what I just did. Worth it. This isn't about being worth it. It's about doing what's required. This woman. If the father hired her, you can be sure that she had more than one skeleton in her closet. She was a cutthroat. Like the rest of the mercenary scum down here. Also, killing her was the only way to get through the barrier. That is, unless you were planning on giving your life. Sometimes I get the feeling that you still haven't understood what's at stake here. This is the only chance we're gonna get. Is that clear? And if you think I'm gonna risk that chance to save a murdering sellsword whore's life, you're dead wrong. 
Now let's push on. We don't want another group to find the room before us. Brother Wrath, is that you? Brother Hatred, you made it. Yes, I made it. <sighs> By the name of the sun. This place, it's... it's unholy. Wrong. How? I mean, how can this be our path to transcendence? Are you doubting the Father? What? No, of course not. I... <sighs> Forgive me, brother. I just don't know what to think or feel anymore. But look, that must be it, right? The room of paintings. We made it, brother. We made the father br ah! Ah. Yeah, you made him proud. Piece of shit. The portal, yes. It fits the description. Come, let's take a closer look. Do you feel that? This... This power, it's... Wait. Did you hear that? Oh shit! Run! 
Yourself, why? I should have killed you. I should have just killed you. By the name of the sun. What... what was that? Yes, but... that voice... it sounded like Letho, didn't it? How? Either way, we can't afford to take a break. Come on, let's place the runes to call the father. All right. Ready. Nervous? Bullshit. I'm looking forward to what comes next. That's all. We stick to the plan. We cast the spell and contact the Father as he asked us to. Once he steps through the portal, I will cast a banishing spell to close it and prevent him from calling back up. I'll leave the rest to your imagination. No. Just give it everything you've got. It won't be an easy fight. You can be sure of that. Okay. Father? Father! Brother Rav, were you successful? Yes, Father. We found the room. Good. Who's with you? Only the mercenary and I. All the others are dead. At least I think so. I have not seen them. That is regrettable. Well then, we are stepping through. We? Brother Sorrow and I. Ah, and Theron. Yes? I am proud of you. What is this? Treason. How I didn't know this. Time must have made me careless. What now, Pharaoh? What do you intend to do? Oh, I think you know the answer to that. I suppose I do. But allow me a question. Why? Can you also not see them anymore? The faces? Do you also feel a sense of estrangement? As if something about you is inherently wrong? What? I should have known. You were losing your mind, just as Sister Pride did. That's why you lured me here, isn't it? In your madness, you want to kill me. Nonsense! 
You're here to finally pay for what you did. Children, damn it. They were children. Wilma, Detlef, Sarah, Taurus, Letho. And you... You couldn't care less. We were just material for you. Human material for your fucking experiments. That is enough. I will kill them, father. No, wait. You remember. You remember what was before. No, don't say anything. You... you do. By the name of the sun, this is fascinating. But I suppose I should have seen it coming. You always were my masterpiece. Masterpiece? <sighs> you are right, Thero. I did experiment upon children, because they are special. And yes, some of you died in my laboratory. They would have died anyway. Oh, isn't it obvious? Their minds, their spirits, they are fresher, untarnished, faster to adapt. Traits that are indispensable for my work. No, because they were sick. If you remember your past, Therel, do you also remember that cough you had? That love, Wilma, Sarah, Lefo, and you. You were all affected by the foulness, a disease transmitted by rats in the Undercity. Children are especially susceptible to it, and it is always lethal. Lies. Nothing but lies. <sighs> not yet. Believe me or not, it's the truth. However, I didn't intend to heal them, at least not by conventional methods. There is no cure for foulness. Do you remember that first conversation we had, mercenary, where I told you about the Relata's ultimate goal? Correct. Before I found out about the Room of Paintings, I conducted a lot of experiments through which I hoped to find a way to achieve it. The dying children were a part of it. My goal was to give them a new artificial vessel to cheat death. Yes, to extract their souls and plant them inside another body. The Pyreans did something similar by binding spirits to objects or places, so I tried to apply the same principle in my experiments. Transfer the soul of the dying child into an artificial body. It never worked, however. The soul always lost its identity upon extraction, degenerated into pure magical energy. Eventually, however, I had a breakthrough. Not only did I manage to extract a child's soul, I was also able to transfer it into a simulacrum. At first, it all seemed perfect, and I was raptured. The children simply fell asleep and awoke inside a new body. Yes, I needed to find out if it existed, and if so, about its relationship to the body. I thought this would get me closer to doing what Dal Galong had done. I was wrong, but I did not know that. I created them. Do not ask for details. It is a complicated process you would not be able to understand without my knowledge. But no, they were not real bodies, nor were they made from them, if that is what you are wondering. You say that as if it were a crime. She knew they were doomed, so she had two choices. Dig their graves in the backyard, or give them another shot at life. One which I, on top of that, generously paid her for. No, Yesha Shagun was a good person. Better than I ever was. Empathy, empathy. How is it relevant? Ultimately, it's actions that matter and not words or intentions. You see, above all, 
I am a scientist. It was never my intention to make this world a better place, but neither was it to inflict suffering. The children advanced my research, and I offered them a second chance at life. That is more than all those empathetic people in art were willing to give them. Yes, I call it the estrangement. The transferred soul somehow begins to realize that something is wrong, which at first manifests in moments of confusion, and finally in the inability to see faces. Sister Pride, yes. She was one of my last creations before I gave up my endeavor entirely. Most of the children died days or weeks after the transfer, save for three exceptions. Brother Sorrow, Sister Pride, and Brother Wrath. Yes, Therrell, you heard right. You are my creation, my child. At first I thought your transfer had failed, so I disposed of your flesh. But then, eight years later, there you stood, in front of the temple, in your right mind, and showing no signs of the estrangement. Sister Pride reappeared too. Both of you had somehow found your ways back to your creator. I was moved. Your child. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, that was a nice story, but I think I've heard enough. Do you see this knife, Father? I'm going to drive it deep into your throat. And into yours too, Brother Sorrow. And I'll enjoy every second of it. The question is, are you still with me? Remove your mask. Of course. Do you recognize him, Thero? No. Yes, Thero. Letho. His procedure went a little differently. His original body died at the exact moment I conducted the transfer. I believe that this is the reason for his lack of humanity. But at the same time, his condition seems to protect him from the estrangement. Unlike Sister Pride and yourself, he still shows no symptoms. And I doubt he ever will. You... you're alive? That's not possible. That's just not possible. It's pointless, Therrell. He's not the boy you once knew. I'm sorry. No, that's not true. Please. Hello, it's... it's me. It's me. Thariel. What are your orders, Father? Shall I kill them? Well, I suppose that is their decision to make. I am not the monster you think I am, Feral. I hope you can finally see that. And no! I am ready to...
illusions. You can't outrun it. So much wrath there. You can't outrun your shadow. What have I done? You disappoint me, Pharaoh. Anger has always been your biggest weakness. Now look at what you've done. What? But we... Do you really think 400 years taught me so little? Yes, Father. Good. Relaine, the time has come. Liberation awaits us. And you are certain you want to let them live? Yes. Existence is punishment enough.
Yes, they are gone. Gone. It was there when the father opened the gate. I saw it. I don't know. All for nothing. All for nothing. How should I know? Maybe they did. Or maybe the, the temple devoured them. We'll never know. How do I feel? Let me think. The father achieved his goal. I learned that I'm one of his creations. A deceased soul in a body made from artificial flesh. And I killed my brother, who I thought was dead. Letho. I killed Letho. Yes, I do. I know. The children. He didn't give a damn about them. If there hadn't been ones who were dying, he would have just abducted healthy ones. And even as it is, nobody has the right to do what he did. Just, just look at that, though. The only person I ever loved. He turned him into a living piece of meat. Into a puppet. Sometimes it's better to die than to live. I don't know. Maybe. But I know that he was right about me. All of this. My crusade against him. It wasn't about the children. It wasn't about justice. It was about having something to fill that deep black hole within me. To feed that nothingness. doesn't justify what I've done. You saw who I am. A mercenary woman up in the temple. Horribly, I murdered. Kalyan. But that's not even the worst of it. Seven years ago, when I had just joined the Relata, an old man saw me as I smuggled documents from within the temple into my hideout. I was stupid enough to wear my robes as I did it. It was so pointless. There was no way he could have known what those documents were. And he probably thought the old warehouse was just another one of the Rolada's stash houses. But, but I panicked. I thought that he would blow my cover so I followed him back into his shed. He had a son, younger than I, and a wife. I still dream of that night to this day. All for the greater good, I told myself. All for the death of the father. Repentance. Ironic to hear that from you of all people. You didn't think Carlion deserved a second chance, did you? So why should I? You know, you were right. There is a line beyond which there is no absolution. I crossed it years ago. I did. And I'll keep my word. Yeah. There's an old chest in my hideout. Everything of worth that I own is in there. You can have it. I'm sorry. For everything. Forgive me. <laughs>